Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Can You Beat Me channel, the only channel on YouTube that's dedicated to giving you racing game challenges. Today though we're diving into something a little different, we're going to show you why we have our settings for Daytona USA 3 on Techno Parrot. Now the first thing I want to say is we found this on the video on YouTube, so we'll go there first. And uh, it is this guy here, GEO Megastar Retro, it all is in whichever language he is in, as you can do, which sends you to this site, which we click on here, which will send you here, and I'm guessing this is his, probably, I have no idea, <laughs> but we uh, watched this video, checked it out, it's all in a different language, so we were like, what the hell, so we just followed it on, we went for the download link here, which I'll put in the description below, Takes you here, click your download, it's 4.2 gigabytes, jobless, doneless. If you want to give that guy a freaking subscribe as well, go and do so because I'm guessing he does more other stuff and this is kind of where we find our thing on. So we will do that, we will come off here and we will go to here and obviously that is there. Once you've done your downloads, I stuck it in my own personal folder for games techno parrot down here stuck it up here uh there is all your game data and everything as well when you do load the game up you have to make sure you click on the application right here when you use your techno parrot so we will close that down open up my techno parrot Go to Daytona USA, we will go to game settings and we will show you exactly where it is. We go back to our E drive in my games in my Techno Palette folder. Select game, select Daytona, and there it is. Just select that one, click open. These are what settings we have. We have hide the cursor. We use keyboard buttons for access, even though that doesn't work at all. Um, we make sure we have disabled, disabled uh, API, the direct input as well. I think if you use X input, it just doesn't do it properly. Uh, all this can stay off then. Settings. Then before I even play my game, I go to my control panel here. As you can see, we have the, well, you can't really see it, but we have our handbrake and we have then our... Is that one our handbrake? Yeah, that one's our handbrake. This is our USB device for our gear stick. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we have our thing, but we go to, anyway, we go straight to our first master. And I always make sure I'm roughly about 270. You can go to 180, 190, which I find perfect for when I'm playing my AM2 Daytona USA and Sega Rally and Manx TT and all stuff like that on this emulator here so that is a good one i love alpha cigarette it's about 270 ish you can have it up to 900 you can have it up to as low as you want 900 is fine it all depends how far you want to turn the wheel but 270 seems to be a nice sweet spot i did have it in 180 190 and basically because all the old school racing games seem to just have 90 degrees left and right like eight run and things like that so that's where we learned all I was from so we want to keep it like that so I've had years experience of using it that way some people come on you and use it like oh my god that is horrendous but for me because I grew up with it that's what I like other people change it so there so I put about 270 should be okay what you want to do there you know is always before you do that Go to your control panel and then always give your thing, give your wheel a nice little turn just so it resets your settings and nice and done. Nice and done, eh? Nice and done. Job done. That is how I literally set up mine. Um, we got all these up as running as well, exactly the same way. Um, I think this when we change our thing to 180, 190 degrees. I think Sega Rally is. 360 possibly sonic again is uh 180 190 but yeah before i do everything i always make sure i double click my freaking control panel always just go in here literally takes two seconds make sure i'm on there job done i should probably do a little notepad by here somewhere to say which games do what wheel settings but most of the time it's in my head and i know it anyway so there's that 
So now we'll dive into Daytona USA. We'll switch the uh, over to Daytona USA, which should change now. If you notice, our screen changes completely by year because the way the settings to film this is weird as hell. We have to stretch our image. So here we go, launch game. Move a mouse out the way. Have a little go, grab those gloves. <laughs> I might fast forward this little bit for you. Hopefully now that stream comes up. It should start up there in the top left corner and then it should move to the middle. I didn't move my OBS over. So hopefully this should change in a minute. I'm hoping it changes in a minute anyway. <laughs> There's only one way to find out, didn't it, when we check it. Do, 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 do. Oh, Eric, make sure you do your force feedback settings. There's a way to do it on TechnoPart itself. Just go into your force feedback. There's a folder, there's an option thing on there. Click our download down and just put your folder into your Daytona USA. Force feedback should be okay. I think I set mine for plus two on both of them there's a little section that says like minimum thing is like i don't know two something like that so hopefully this is running hopefully this is capturing because it's not showing me on my second screen because the game obs is behind it hopefully it comes through now because we did the record it just now and the video quality was pants it was like doing it in freaking 360p i don't know what happened it just decided to record it stupidly so I'm hopefully this comes through all right now much better the sound is loud so we will turn the volume down on here first so basically everything's done I haven't changed any settings at all we will go on you see how we do Move a mouse out the way I like this one because the tune is amazing I love the tune so uh, let's see how we do and let's see how we do for this one, shall we? So that is it. What you should always try and do though is make sure your wheel starts going like a jackass juma. You know it's working alright. Get your gas pedal down. You feel the vibrations coming through already. Which is epic and away we go. Now let's go away. Daytona. I'll stop singing now. Daytona. Let's go away. <laughs> I won't stop seeing. Yeah, that's it. That's my setting set up. Like I said, I'm guessing it's already done for the first master. Um, as I said, I followed that. Well, the guy's little tutorial thing. I changed a little couple of settings for myself for like the force feedback settings. Uh, you go into it and then you can just. I think I set it to two. Uh, it says like between zero and whatever, and I set it to two uh, for both of them. I can't exactly remember what it is now, but if you open it up, you'll see it says zero and zero, one above the other for feedback. Something I change it to two for each, and it's just enough. Anything above, I try to rip my arms off. <laughs> and I would like to say, if you have a first master or if you have whatever wheel you have, make sure you are using a wheel of full circled wheel whatever you want to call it full circled rim whatever because when we played this for the first time and we used the open wheel the gt3 star car <laughs> and it started spinning at the start and i crashed into the wall guy almost took my hand off <laughs> not even joking so now it's literally if i play daytona i always make sure i've got my full wheel on and not a freaking any other one <laughs> It will rip your hands off. <laughs> well, we 10th of 6. Here we go, 10th of 6. The video footage on this now seems much better, thank God. I might just put a little video up just showing you what they come out like when I first done it. Just now. I think it was just because I had it doing the game all video and the desktop at once. And it was just conflicting with each other. So I think now I'm just doing desktop. Hopefully we can come better than 5th. Fifth is our best so far. We haven't been back on there since the other video. Do, 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 do. Oh, they all decided to crash in front of me. That takes me up to fifth. Let's go, boys. Let's go. 
Get that Daytona Cup. Oh, it looks like it's going to be last corner job. Nah, they're in front, don't they? They ain't beating that. I think I need a faster time. I can hit the wall anyway. Messed it up. Oh, look at that. And they all crossed on the line again. Six. So, yeah, as you'll see, the wheel of that spinning off. If you've got open wheel, boosh, hand off. 18-12, that's not bad for, bad for my fast lap. Should be in 17, though. We are on automatic. <laughs> Normally, we'll stick the gear stick on for manual and go from here. So, we can go from fourth to second to spin around there. They put his first place on for that one. That'd be days. CBM. The wheel is a bit sensitive. We'll try to do your name, but that's it. But hopefully, this guide will help you out. And, uh... If it does help you out, do us a favour, smash that subscribe button first, hit that like, leave in the comments if there's anything I could try and help you with. Maybe in a different video then I can sh just do screenshots of all my settings if that's what you might need. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. How do I turn this off now? <laughs> Alright, take care now. Bye bye then.